Okay, so quick little Facebook video. I probably won't post this to YouTube, um, just because. We gotta talk about last night's debate. I mean, man. Uh, for those of you that uh, watched the debate live while we were doing the commentary on the podcast, you know how we all felt about what happened during last night's debate. For those of you that didn't, let's just uh, do a quick recap. Trump started off strong, very, very strong. He was calm. He was cool. He was collected. Just sprinkled in enough Trumpisms to uh, keep Hillary Clinton off guard, uh, knock her around for a while, um, you know, keep her stuttering a bit. That lasted for about 15 minutes. And then you just got to see Trump slowly fall apart for the next, you know, hour, give or take. It was painful. But what gets me the most is four key things. One, when they started talking about how Hillary Clinton spent money, the government spends money, that kind of thing, how they spend it over in the Middle East, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. His reaction, his defense, his attack on her wasn't the typical conservative Republican attack of, that's why we need to lower taxes. The government shouldn't be spending our money, blah, 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 whatever. It was, well, we just need to spend it differently. <sighs> okay. Whatever. That's not conservative Republican, but okay. So you'll spend it more responsibly. Now, yeah, whatever. Stupid answer. Stupid response, but okay. Then he starts to defend stop and frisk. And people can spin it however they want. I've heard too many people try to say, well, he didn't mean it. He was defending stop and frisk, which if you care about freedom and liberty, um, like guess what? Stop and frisk is anti-freedom and liberty. It is un-American. I don't give a shit who you are, where you are, what neighborhood you're in, what your intentions are. It's un-American. Don't defend it. It was the one thing Hillary Clinton was actually right on. Ugh, I can't stand saying that. Then, oh, then we get to guns. Guess what? As many of us have been saying for a long time, Donald Trump is not pro-gun, and he proved it last night on the debate stage. He said he was for people on terrorist watch lists and no-fly lists, you know, government lists that they just make up and can put anybody on. Yeah, people on those lists shouldn't be allowed to have a gun. So, as we were saying months ago, after the Orlando shooting, yeah, he's anti-gun, when he tweets out that he wants to go talk to the NRA about an anti-gun policy, and everybody went, no, 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 he just wants to talk to him about it. He doesn't mean he's for it. Donald Trump's not for that policy. Well, guess what? He is. He admitted it on the debate. Donald Trump is not pro-gun. Your gun rights are not safe with Donald Trump. And then, to top everything off right there at the end, man, she's just hitting him and going back and forth with him, that kind of thing. And they start talking about, you know, oh, well, uh, you know, you were for the, the war in Iraq before you were against it, and you were against it before you were for it, and whatever else. And, and he just starts losing it. Just start, He doesn't know what to say, so he starts going, well, talk to Hannity. Talk to Hannity. Hannity knows. Hannity. You are in a presidential debate. Stop bringing up talk show hosts as your defense. It's stupid, it's ignorant, and it just it proved that any little thing can set him off. And then, of course, she immediately gets asked the question, or they both do, actually, about uh, can the other person be trusted with the nuclear codes? And, of course, she literally just played him right into this question where he just came off looking like an idiot who jumped the gun, who has no control over himself, and, and then immediately goes into, well... Somebody like this guy over here, you know, uh, gets set off by a tweet. Do we really want him in charge of the nuclear codes? And he just played right into her hands. It was just a devolving situation for Donald Trump. It was sad and pathetic, especially after the first 15 minutes, he was nailing it. If he had stayed on that track, he would have nailed it. It was bad. It was bad across the board. I don't know what's going to happen in the next debate. He did not win anybody over. In fact, he may have encouraged some people to stay home, especially with his comment about guns. Just not good for Donald Trump whatsoever.